Electric Air Taxi Charging comes to North Carolina. The first charging station for electric flying vehicles is being installed at Raleigh Executive Jetport in North Carolina. The groundbreaking this week featured an electric plane on a trip from Burlington, Vermont, to an Air Force base in the Florida Panhandle earlier this week. The electric aerial vehicle EAV from Beta Technologies landed at Joint Base Andrews, the home of Air Force One, during its multi-stop trip on the way to Florida. Investing in sustainable aviation is a clear next step for North Carolina, the first in-flight state. As we continue to be a leader in aerospace and multimodal transportation innovation, said State Transportation Secretary Joey Hopkins. Beta recently installed aircraft electric charging stations at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida to service the coming test of its electric flying vehicles there. The Beta chargers are multimodal, meaning they can charge electric aircraft as well as electric cars and trucks at the airport. The future of transportation is electric. And as we look to make this new technology a widespread reality in aviation, forward-leaning partners and investment in infrastructure will be critical, said Blaine Newton. BETA coup. We have certainly found that in North Carolina, we are excited to have been able to fly our all-electric Alia aircraft into Raleigh Executive, Jetport from Burlington, Vermont, and chargers like the ones we will install together are what will power these types of missions in the future. This state has always been a first mover in aviation, so it's no surprise that we found support for the next generation of sustainable aviation. Solutions 2.